Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. Uh, in the next video, I want to talk a bit about FlySight's altitude mode. But before we get there, I think we should talk about two different ways of measuring altitude, uh, barometric altitude and GPS altitude. As skydivers, we're most familiar with barometric altitude. This is the kind of altitude measured by the altimeter on your wrist, the audible in your helmet, and the altimeter in the aircraft. When we measure barometric altitude, we start by measuring air pressure, and then we use a standard atmospheric model to convert that pressure measurement into an altitude measurement. Barometric altitude measurement is very reliable because we can always measure air pressure. A barometer never loses signal. The measurement is also very consistent. Uh, two barometric altimeters at the same position should read the same altitude. These two factors make barometric measurement perfect for aircraft. But barometric altitude doesn't give your true altitude above the ground. Uh, depending on the weather, air pressure can deviate quite a bit from the standard model. This can introduce 5 to 10% error in barometric altitude measurements. At typical exit altitudes, this can amount to 500 to 1,000 feet of error. GPS altitude measures your actual height above the ground. It's the measurement that you would get if you used a very long ruler. In general, uh, GPS gives a more accurate measurement of your altitude, but it suffers from one main limitation. It's not as reliable as barometric measurement. A GPS can lose its fix if the antenna is covered uh, or if some other piece of equipment emits a signal that interferes with the GPS signal. There are two main points I want you to come away with here. First, barometric altimeters and GPS altimeters are measuring two different things. So it isn't unusual to see 500 to 1,000 feet of difference between the two measurements at typical exit altitudes. And second, barometric altimeters are best when high reliability is important. On the other hand, GPS is best when accurate altitude measurements are important. Which one you should use will depend on your application. As always, if you have any other questions or topics you would like to see discussed in future videos, uh, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.